Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Woodbrew video. In today's video, we are doing something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that is get our Woodland Mills sawmill assembled. Our channel has grown a lot recently, so we want to welcome all the new viewers and say thank you, and we hope you enjoy this video of us fulfilling this really long dream of ours for the last couple years of getting a sawmill. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started putting this thing together. Let's go. What are we about Ooh. to do? Today is an exciting day. Finally, after, I don't know, of months of waiting, we get to put together our Woodland Mill sawmill. We're gonna start off with a trailer, which arrived like last week, and this entire last week it's been dying to put it together. We've got a little bit of time today, so we're gonna get started assembling this thing. See what happens. Should I uh, move all the cushions? Yeah, your cushion storage is... Uh... Is it over? It's over. My, my no rent's more. up. My lease is up. Yeah, your lease is up <laughs> on your cushion storage. <laughs> right now. Dylan, tell them what just happened. What did we just find out? Uh, well, we just spent like hours meticulously taking all the stuff out, separating it, sort of like getting it in perfect piles to get started to assemble. And then we were like, you know what we should do? We should lay it out in like this really cool way. So it's like shows all the parts out on the ground and we'll get this like fancy drone shot of us like laying down it. It's going to be awesome. And so we're like, you know, we realize the sun's going down now all of a sudden, so we're getting ready to stop. And we go, you know what, you think it's gonna rain tonight? Well, it's gonna rain for like the next three days, and we didn't. Not just rain. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be like tornadoes. So we we didn't look once at the radar or anything. That's so nice, Luna. <laughs> so what, you know? Parts are everywhere. Now well, what do we do? Yeah, it's, it's 2,000 pounds of parts that we just took out of boxes and made more difficult. <laughs> I'm going to freaking cry. <laughs> oh, goodness. Back in the container, I guess. I don't know. That might just have to get set up here and a tarp put over it. It's just in the nick of time. Sun's going down. We got this thing double, triple tarped. So the sawmill heads under there and basically everything else it should be fine out here i mean the thing's gonna live outside anyway so i don't really know what i'm worried about but you know it's brand new i'm gonna just like <laughs> leave it out in the rain on night one but no and thank goodness for this thing yeah it's I'll... housing all of our small parts that would be really annoying if they got wet yeah. so so see you in a few days <sighs> man i hope this isn't just another alabama deal where it's like tornadoes for the next three days and then we wake up happens. tomorrow and it's a 10 percent chance of rain yeah um i would cry again <laughs> well it'd be better than tornadoes true <laughs> we got pretty lucky and the rain's gonna be held off for a couple hours so we're gonna take our thumbnail and i'm already sweating putting all of this stuff laid out i must remind you it was 20 degrees last week and now sun's out Guns Thunder's out. eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hot today and it was 20 degrees outside just last week. Oh no. Ridiculous. How precious. now real quick 
want to say thank you to Ariat for sponsoring this video. Ariat has been a big supporter of this channel for the last couple of years and they have had us covered in the 95 degree weather and the colder weather. We wear this gear pretty much every day and work hard in them. We can firsthand tell you this workwear is legit because we definitely put it to the test in every project. Since we have been working in the yard so much lately, one of Dylan's favorites is this rebar heat fighter shirt. It's lightweight and it keeps the sun off your arms. Ladies, if you're in the market for some at work jeans, check out any of their rebar pants. My favorite are the Riveter boot cut jeans because they give it just the right amount of stretch. And all the pockets. You know what I'm talking about. We have a 10% off link for you in the description. Now let's get back to work. How in the world did we manage to do that? I don't know. That was uh, teamwork makes a dream work <laughs> sort of day. Yeah. We only fought for like. Uh -oh. Anyway, we only uh, we only fought for like hmm, maybe a minute and a half during this whole thing, <laughs> which is pretty darn good. If 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 you have a significant, other, you probably probably giving us thumbs up right now because that's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> that's like thousands of pieces, heavy pieces. Literally. And. Uh, the trailer's done. The trailer is put together. And the good news is, is the sawmill looks like it's actually a lot less pieces. So hopefully the sawmill goes pretty quick because this was a ton of pieces. Yeah, majority of things are done. Yeah, it was supposed to be raining all day today. It's supposed to be tornadoes. I think we're going to get there. It's coming. It's coming. Well, it's been <laughs> coming all day. So. Well, it's the very next day. We got sunburnt yesterday. Today it's cool enough that I can bring the old felt hat out. We have the sawmill section of this whole thing out and ready to be assembled. Looks like a lot less parts, so let's get to it.
Well, I think, I hope, we're ready to fire this engine up for the first time. I added oil. Always a good thing. It seems like it's at the correct oil level. There's two oil fills on this thing, which is confusing, but convenient, I guess. Got some fuel in there. We got the throttle all the way back. We got her on. We have, oh, hey, now the gas on and off. Got the gas flowing. Oh, that's choke on and off. Gotcha. Well, we're going to need some choke. <laughs> Got a battery? This thing's got a key? Life of luxury here, you ready? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if the battery's charged at all, but it's a Walmart special, so here we go. Put enough gas in it. Maybe I just didn't put enough gas. Surely I did. Come on, brother. Is this off or on? It's on. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Should I just delete this clip? <laughs> we need the gas turned on. <laughs> yeah. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> So I spent a good bit of time today going around and torquing all of the nuts and bolts to their specified you know, torque spec. And then Molly came around and she also marked all of the bolts, especially on the trailer, so that we can see if those bolts are loosening because this thing is going to vibrate and vibration and bolts aren't the best thing in the world, especially when it's something that you're gonna pull down the road. So I wanna be extra sure, first and foremost, that we're torquing everything to what it's supposed to be but also that we can keep an eye on before we go on, say, a longer trip with this thing that make sure nothing's rattled loose. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Where's the logs? What are you going to show us sawmilling? What's the point of having a sawmill if you ain't sawing any logs? I know. I know. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do the best way possible with the sawmill. This is a very large investment. We spent a lot of time... Uh, first of all, saving up for it, then getting it, then putting it together. And I want to make sure this thing is perfect before we start using it. You know when you buy something and you use it too fast because you're too excited about it, and then like six months goes by and you're like, you know, I don't think I ever checked to see if this thing's square or anything. And it's not, you know, those sort of, we've all had those moments. I don't want that to be the case with this sawmill. So I'm going to spend some extra time getting this thing set up in a good place that's going to hopefully remain fairly flat and level. And I'm gonna get this saw perfectly dialed and set up before I start using it. Cause I know if I don't, it'll never get done. So I'm gonna do all the things in the manual, all the little nitpicky seeming little things that's going through every single little part of this. I'm gonna do it. Cause I want this thing to last us a really long time. It's gonna put a lot of work in for us. So. There's just not enough time, is what I'm getting at, for this video. Between all the rain and everything else we've had, it's taken us a while to get this to where it's at. So, in the next video, I promise, we will have this thing actually sawing a log. And that should come out in actually just a few days, so you don't have to wait that long. So subscribe if you haven't already. But that's where we're going to end this video. We got this thing put together. Very, very, very excited. I haven't said that enough. <laughs> About what this machine's gonna allow us to do here on our property, for our business, into the future, all the things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for helping make this thing a reality, you know? 
and uh we're gonna have some fun with it this yeah, year we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna make some really cool stuff with it so y'all stick around and uh we'll see you in the next one peace we always say that at the end peace peace <laughs>